Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight I'm comparing these two waters. First up is Apso Pure, natural spring water. Next up is Bentley Pittsburgh water. It doesn't even say water on it actually, but it's Bentley Pittsburgh water. So what these two bottles have in common is they're both similar sizes. They're both about 500 milliliters and they're both sort of from Pittsburgh and I kind of have a story about both of these waters. So let's just talk about the waters themselves to begin with, and I'll explain like the history behind them. So the Bentley Pittsburgh water is bottled by Creekside Springs in Ambridge, PA, and this is a private label company. So, you know, Bentley, it's the car company, Bentley. Obviously, Bentley doesn't bottle their own water, so they hire this company, Creekside Springs, to bottle the water for them and put the label on them. That's what, Creeks, that's what Creekside Springs does. They just put labels on bottles and, you know, sell them to other companies for marketing purposes and advertising. And I would assume if you go to Bentley and you buy a car, they'll just give you a couple bottles of this for free. Or maybe it's just sitting on a counter and you just grab a couple bottles. Just, or maybe at promotional events, they have a table with these just sitting on them. And it's just advertising Bentley, specifically Bentley Pittsburgh. And the company itself says Creekside Springs spring water comes straight from our property, protected natural springs located on lands adjacent to our Ohio facility. Our fresh spring water has never been treated with any harsh chemicals or additives and is delicious, refreshing, and free of impurities. And um, I'm guessing... Whenever somebody got this water, they got it several years ago because it says Best Buy March 2019. Right now it's April of 2019, so this water is Best Buy several months ago. So hopefully that doesn't affect the taste very much, but we're going to do a taste test anyway. The Apso Pure water says that its source is from a natural spring in Jackson County, Michigan. It says Jackson space co so originally i thought that was jackson colorado but it's jackson county michigan this water has zero sodium zero protein zero carbs zero everything except for it has two percent calcium and um this kind of looks like a niagara bottle of water or a nestle bottle of water just this you know the cheapo squeezable bottle with thin plastic half size lid and um so originally when i saw this I thought it was a Niagara bottle of water, and I just thought it was one of their dozens and dozens of brands of water. But no, it's a unique um, company. It's Absopure. And I guess this is, like, bigger than I thought, bigger than I first realized, because I'd, I've reviewed so many waters, and I've, like, never heard of this one. Um, but I guess they're kind of a bigger company than I thought. Distribute water to offices, and I guess they can deliver to your home, and they sell it in some stores apparently also they have a partnership with the mountain valley water which i reviewed earlier so they can also deliver the mountain valley water to your house i think they're separate companies but they have a partnership where they can deliver that so apso pure says that their humble beginnings actually began back in 1908 so they're over 110 years old and when apso pure when apso pure ice was delivered uh, to Detroit area customers. It was on a horse and a wagon. So they started off delivering ice and water to companies. You know, back in the early 1900s, they didn't have refrigerators. They didn't have, or at least most people didn't, I guess. So they delivered ice and you would uh, store and preserve your food in ice buckets and ice closets or whatever they were. And it says that... The average price of ice in the summer of 1912 was 22 cents per 100 pounds of ice. That is crazy. That's, I, mean, I guess adjusted for inflation, I don't know what that is, but that sounds really low. For 100 pounds of ice, I think if you get like 10 pounds, it's going to be several bucks at like the grocery store. I would, I would assume. I don't really buy ice. Maybe I'm way off. I don't know. But especially back then when they didn't have freezers and they didn't have refrigeration devices, 
Um, so th- th- this is like ice saved and frozen in the winter. They store it in some big warehouse, and then they deliver it. So 100 pounds of that, that seems really low. So that's where Absopure started, and then in 1926, they actually started selling Absopure brand refrigerators. So I've never even heard of this company, and it turns out they sold refrigerators in the 1920s. And then in 1986, Absopure became the first water company to recycle their own plastic bottles. So that's all good. Um, So I'm going to do a comparison of these two, taste test. Whichever one I personally think tastes better is going to move on to the next round. So where did I get these bottles from? Um, This one I got from a hotel. Uh, I've been dating a girl, Caitlin, for over six months now. And on Valentine's Day, we, like, had a big celebration on Valentine's Day. We, like, went to an art gallery, went out to a fancy restaurant, went out to the movies, went out to a bunch of stuff, went all over, like, Pittsburgh, and then... That night, we went to a fancy hotel, and um, just for some privacy and a nice, great view of the city. And inside the hotel room, they gave us a couple bottles of this for free. And um, the, that Vice article that they wrote about the water community, they actually mentioned this. Because I mentioned that in the interview, that like I was excited to you know, see this water. Even though I was like celebrating the holiday with my girlfriend... I saw this water in the hotel room, and I was, like, excited about it. And, um, yeah, so I've been saving this for a couple months, and I'm going to review it. The Bentley Pittsburgh water came from my neighbor, Al. My neighbor, Al, had a dog named, named Bentley. And, um, Al had a friend who gave this to Al. He gave this bottle of water to Al, um... Because he knew his dog's name was Bentley, and, you know, he just thought, oh, hey, it has your dog's name on it, here's um, this bottle of water. And then my neighbor Al was actually a good friend of mine, and um, he knew I did these water videos, and um, he gave me this bottle of water for my my videos. And um, Al, my next door neighbor, actually passed away in December of 2018, and... um, you know, last year, if you asked me, like, who my top five friends were, I would have made him, you know, on that list for sure. He, um, we would always talk on the front porch of my house. Like, he, he was a big smoker, and he doesn't have a porch on his house. So he would always hang out on my porch and just talk to everybody. Like, me and all my roommates would always just hang out with him and um, listen to his stories. He was a guy in, like, his late... um 60s <clears throat> he was a big smoker so he, he had lung problems and he always had an oxygen machine and that um kind of like led to him uh, passing away just his lung problems and his breathing problems <clears throat> and um you know he had tons of stories and he was um homeless right before he moved in next door he was homeless for a couple years and he had some drug problems and he had just lots of stories about you know, being homeless and his drug problems. And do you guys remember last year I did a an interview with my, my roommate, Don, who um, also lives in the basement with me? I was planning on <clears throat> saving this water for a video similar to that where I, like, interviewed Al. And um, unfortunately, that never happened because um, he passed away. Um So, I've kind of, I was, I don't know, saving this for that, but, um, just, it's not going to work out that way. And, um, like Al, he had a family, he would always tell me stories about them. His wife actually worked in the White House. His wife worked in the, um, the call center at the White House. Like, she would, his wife would get phone calls from, like, world leaders all around the world and then she worked there during the bill clinton administration and then she would like forward the calls to bill clinton and i guess like actually talk to him on a regular basis um and say like hey um the leader of japan is on the phone or whatever i don't i don't know the exact things but um 
he would give us lots of stories about that. And um, Al used to um, live in Texas. He, he had a big Texas accent. He used to um, like smuggle drugs across the Mexican border. That's how he made his living for a long time. He, he eventually got caught doing that and um, sent several, spent several years in prison. And uh, he had a lot of stories about like famous bank robbers that he met in prison and you know all their stories. But I don't personally remember their names or all the details and I'm not going to share them because they might have been private stories, but he was um a good guy um <clears throat> really honest he, he wasn't perfect but <clears throat> like there were several times where he would um <clears throat> borrow money from me like he had a really tight budget he was living off social security he, he couldn't get a job because of his lung problems um so he had this you know really tight financial situation so sometimes he would borrow money from me <clears throat> and even though I didn't even ask for it he would always pay it back with interest and I'd be like, Oh no, I don't need that. That he'd be like, he would like insist on paying back interest just because that's the, the kind of person he was. And, um, him, me and Don would regularly like share meals down here in, in the basement. And, um, like usually I would buy the food, Don would do the cooking and then I would come over and kind of like insist that he does the dishes kind of thing. So it's like all us working together for like a meal. And, um, you know, we would just share stories with each other. And, um, yeah, that was Al. So let's get back to the waters. Let's open it up and let's do a taste test comparison. Here is the Aqua Pure. No smell to it. There actually is like a slight plasticky taste, like a thin, um, thin plasticky taste to it. Okay, let's do the Bentley water. No smell to it. It's kind of unfair to this water because it's probably been, you know sitting around for several years, but here we go. Yeah, this has like a kind of a chemically taste to it, too. Um, even stronger than this. But it it could be just because it was like sitting out. The guy, I don't know exactly where this came from. I just know one of Al's friends gave it to him. So maybe somebody else gave it to him, and then he gave it to him, and then he gave it to me. Maybe it was sitting in somebody's car for, you know, hours and hours. Maybe somebody bought, maybe one of his friends bought a Bentley. It was sitting in the, um, you know, in the hot windshield, you know, in the sun for hours. I don't know. I don't know exactly where this came from. So just full disclosure, that could be the cause of um, it's more, more plasticky taste. It is drinkable, but, and I, I don't think it's caused by the spring. It doesn't taste like a dirty water. It just tastes like, um, like a strong plasticky taste, sort of a chemically taste to it. So that's that. All right, here's the Aqua Pure again. Yeah, I, I got to be honest. Um, neither of these waters are great. Um, kind of kind of giving them both a thumbs down. Uh, to, <laughs> I mean, they're not like the worst I've ever had, but they both have like a plasticky, chemically taste to them. I'm gonna say the winner is the Aqua Pure. Just 
it's got that chemically taste to it. Unfortunately, I, I kind of I was looking at their website. I had like high hopes with all their history. It seems like they would, you know, have uh, some good quality water. I mean, then again, it is from Michigan. Excuse me. Which, in my mind, has a negative connotation because their bottling plant is about, uh, I think, 75 miles from Flint, Michigan, which is known for having bad water. Um, but it's 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 definitely not just my mental negative connotation. It is uh, also objectively not that good, in my opinion, like because of the, the chemically plastic taste. So, this is winning, but it's not, I wouldn't really recommend it, just based on this review. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Stay hydrated everyone.